So how does a KOX work? So KOX comes in two folds. So there is a content and then there is a reader. So how does it work? QS comes in two folds. There is a reader and then there is a content. I made mention of this in the previous video that the QX is a tool. And then in the tool, there is a reader and then there is a content. And if you remember, we also said that the content are usually the resources that ordinarily would be on the internet. We gave an example as Wikipedia. Wikipedia can be converted into ZIM files that can be accessed with the reader. The QX reader runs on almost any device, be it mobile phones and then computers. I made mention of this too in the early uh, in the previous slide that for computers it runs on iOS, it runs on Mac, it runs on Windows, and then also on Android. So those of you who are using Chrome also Chromebook also can have access to the reader. For the end user, it will always feel much like the regular browser as the experience is almost identical to browsing the source website except that in this case there is no internet the content are the websites that have been turned into zim files so if you remember um also i said wikipedia converting into zim now the reader can only access content that have been converted to zim files so books should be converted to zim files websites should be converted to zim files and th this is only what the reader understands where do i find these zim files now curious comes without content files so if you are able to have access to curious the reader in itself does not come with the content. So then the onus it's on the end user to find content. So where do you find these files? So QX comes without content files, and then you need to download these from the apps library. You download them from their repository or generate your own ZIM files. So you can go on to kwex.org, go to the, where the content session is, and then you'd find a number of resources that are available from Wikipedia, Wikiversity, um, Khan Academy, TED Talks, a lot of videos. So you would have to specify which ones works best for you. And then also you consider the size of the file that you want to download. And then also note that the files or the content available on the QX um, website, it's already in ZIM files. So you just download them and then access them using the reader. How do I deal with content with large file size? We can make highly compressed copies of the entire websites that each fit into single ZIM files. Now the ZIM files are small enough that they can be stored on users' mobile phones and then also on uh, inexpensive hotspots as well.